There will be no repeats from top 10 LPs on this list. Thank you. Hey guys, it's HBG. Welcome to my top 10 entertainers on YouTube. At number 10 is Fawful's Minion. Fawful's Minion has very un he's very underappreciated at only 20,000 subs. He's the first countdown maker I ever watched. He's very skilled with sprite animation. And he's pretty funny, but Fawful's Minion is only number 10 on this list because I found some more people a lot more entertaining. So, he's only number 10 on this list. At number 9, it's the J-Wits. Joshua Wissenheimer, or J-Wits, is currently doing a Poke play of Pokemon Coliseum and has made his own song, which I bought on iTunes. But J-Wits, his main style is doing stuff on the trading card game or of the Pokemon video games. Excuse me. I got it. I like his videos, and he's very entertaining because because I actually learned some stuff from Jay Witz that I thought I wouldn't have learned. So that's why Jay Witz is number nine. At number eight, we have the angry black man D Six. <laughs> I'm sorry. I found I actually have his, I found his profile image, but that picture is so much fun here. <laughs> <laughs> Overall, <laughs> he has several series. He he's mainly known as the Angry Black Man on YouTube and has two channels, but we're focusing on his main channel. But these things is hilarious, loud, and I don't know. He's just really loud and he screams a lot. I don't know why, but I find that really funny. So that's why he's at number eight. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, I need to get over this image. At number 7, representing the game theorist is Gaijin Goomba. Gaijin Goomba has his own channel where he hosts a show called The Game Exchange, where he teaches about Japanese gaming and all different routes and stuff about that. But the game, other game theorists are Matthew Patrick 13 and I forget the name of his channel, but his name is Ronnie. I'm digressing and side questing, but Gaichin Goomba is the most entertaining out of the three because you actually learn on his channel. Sounds boring, right? But it's about video games, so I don't know. I, it just seems that Gaichin Goomba's style of explaining things as well as that he ha has an animated character. Along with the zone, it's kind of interesting. So that's why Gaijin Goomba is number seven. We were right to pray. Sorry about that bad Japanese impression, but number six, we had We Were Right to Pray. We right to pray. Tyson, Chris, Tyler, and Spencer, the guys that made this channel, are currently doing Pokemon Rumble. They are Let's Players and probably one of the only other Let's Play, probably the last only Let's Player on this list. They're very entertaining, they're funny, they do also a series called Smashing Sundays on some Sundays. They stream on Twitch, they do a lot of inter They're very entertaining, and their commentary is extremely loud at some points, but they're just funny. So that's why they're number si six on this list. Some say he's annoying, some say he's funny. I say he's both. At number five, The Annoying Orange. Dane Bow, the creator of The Annoying Orange, started this in 2007 or 2008. Don't quote me on the year, because it's one of the two. But The Annoying Orange is funny, along with Pear, Marshmallow, Passion Fruit, voiced by I. Justine. And he's got another great guest, such as Jax Films, Tobuscus, Day Storm Power. And he's got another special guest that I probably haven't even heard of. I'm just not sure of. But the Annoying Orange is awesome, and that's why he's number 5 on this list. At number 4, we have the second most subscribed person on YouTube, Ray William Johnson. Ray hosts a show called Eagle Street, airing every Tuesday. He also does vlogs on his channel of Runaway Planet. For a year, he did a music series called Your Favorite Martian. And right now, he's pretty big on YouTube, having over 7 million subscribers. Me being one of them, of course. Not to mention I'm subscribed to every one of these people on YouTube. Ray's funny. His humor is pretty crude, but 
It's hilarious. I mean, may not be grandmother approved, but I mean, it's pretty funny. Ray has done Equals 3 for four years, and he's pretty well respected on YouTube. And besides, his jokes are funny. So that's why Ray is number four on this list. Number three is Dexter Manning, or Dexter Boy 124 on YouTube. Dex has been on YouTube for a long time with Guitar Master X7. He has made Sandy Not Included, and he's made some Machinimas, as well as still going on with Sandy Not Included and making gameplay commentaries now. Happy for that. But Dex is very entertaining, having a little over 118,000 subscribers. And it's his long last... And I've watched him ever since I first was on YouTube, so just his long... Lasting value is why he's number three on this list. How's it going, bro? The number two is PewDiePie. PewDiePie, a Swedish gamer, is very well known on YouTube. He has 4.3 million subscribers on YouTube. He's very entertaining. Right now he's doing, well, he just finished Amnesia Obscurity. He's doing Conqueror's Bad Fur Day. And he's done some things such as Parappa the Rappa, some Slender stuff, Happy Wheels. And a lot more I can't name. Right off the top of my head. PewDiePie is awesome. He's played a, a couple games with the number one spot on this list. Because it's kind of obvious if you see the order I'm going in. But PewDiePie is awesome. So check out his work if you haven't seen it. But I doubt a lot of you guys haven't seen it. But do if you have not seen it. Wait, does that make any sense? Okay, what I'm trying to say is watch him if you haven't. But if you have, stay tuned. Could there be any other? At number one is Smosh. Smosh started in 2005, or 2002, with Anthony Padilla. Remember, they actually started it. Until he met Ian in sixth grade, for, as seen from the draw of my life he made. They started Smosh in 2005 making videos, and since the most subscribed channel on YouTube. They're funny, and have delved into many different, have delved into many different types of things, such as music their own gaming channel, such as doing Lunchtime and uh, Ian is Bored, which started in 2011. But Smosh is awesome. Funny, only releasing a video a week along with their other videos and channels they have, which personally I think they've got enough. But if they want to do more, I support them. So Smosh is number one just because, well, I can't name how many reasons why they're awesome. That's why they're number one.